Hey guys, so welcome back to the second episode of the Halloween series on my channel. Today we're going to be going over the top scariest animals ever discovered or found. So let's get into this. And I left the references down below, you know, because I'm in college. So I didn't do APA format, but I just left the link if you guys want to check out the facts or where I got the pictures and everything so I don't get sued for copyright. So I don't think these are really scary. They're kind of weird looking, but they're not that scary. But I mean, it's interesting, right? So I'll be showing you pictures of the animal and I will be going over some facts about them. So let's get to it. Okay, so the first animal we are starting off with is the blobfish. Blobfish are native to the waters off Australia and New Zealand where they bob along the sea floor, scooping up any unsuspecting small creatures that cross their path. They live at average depths of 3,000 feet their diet consists of small crustaceans like crabs, sea urchins, and shellfish. They're also very endangered and there's only 420 left of them in the world. The next scary fish we have is the marine hatchet fish. They are one of the many deep sea creatures that have the ability to create their own light through a process known as bioluminescence. They have their own light producing organs which lets them see in the dark in the deep sea. It is believed they are used to hide the fish from predators through the process of counter illumination. This means that they can adjust the intensity of their underside lights to make them nearly invisible against the faint light above. Okay, and the next scariest animal we have is the lamprey. These fish have seven gill openings that are located behind the eyes. Sea lampreys are easily recognized by the large mouth filled with circular rows of teeth. They use this to suck the blood and bodily fluids of other fish, and they have done it to humans. Sounds great. The next animal we have is the star-nosed mole. They're native to North America, and they have alien-like tentacles on their noses. Living most of their lives underground, these animals are a rare sight to humans, and they are mostly blind. These tentacles on their nose give them a really good sense of touch and can also detect the minute electrical fields given off by their prey. The next animal we have is Kit Kat. I know, absolutely horrifying. I found it myself. The next animal we have are box jellyfish. They are very venomous and their stings can cause someone to actually become paralyzed before killing them within minutes. When the jellyfish stings you, you can have symptoms including vomiting, headaches, agitation, profuse sweating, and another fun fact about them is that they also have 24 eyes. The next scariest animal we have is the Cyclops shark. Now this one really isn't scary. I just thought it was really weird looking. Like it looks a little bit like Mike Wazowski from Monsters Inc. But even though there's no really facts about this animal because it was just found in the fetus of one of a shark moms, there's no really like detail on how they live and how if it's like a breed or not like that. But here's how it was found exactly. A commercial fishing crew caught a dusty shark in mid 2011 off the coast of Baja, California, Sur in Mexico. When they cut the shark open, they discovered their catch had not only been pregnant, but had a fetus that was rather unique. The shark fetus was albino and only had one large eye centered in its face. Scientists have confirmed that this cyclopean specimen is legitimate and the optical tissue was functional, though the animal likely wouldn't survived in the wild. The next scary animal we have is called the frilled shark. So the reason why the shark looks so weird is because it lacks in the case of fins. Rather than swimming, the shark hovers over and uses its eel-like body and huge tail fins to swim. Many researchers have explained that the shark can strike, similarly to like a snake, and they also have 300 teeth in their mouth that are aligned in 25 rows and each of them is facing backwards. So that bite is pretty painful. The next animal is the Goliath bird-eating spider. Now, do not be fooled by their size. They actually are pretty harmless to humans. The worst pain you'll experience is probably a slight stinging or irritation where they bite you. The Goliath bird-eating spider is the largest spider in the world in body size and mass. The body can reach 11.9 centimeters in length about 4.5 inches. And despite their name, the bird eater, they actually only eat mainly worms. The next animal we have is a hairy frog. This frog has cat-like extendable claws. They break down their own bones to produce claws that puncture their way out of the frog's toe pads. The researchers think that they use this as a defense mechanism. They force their ribs through their skin to produce protective barbs on demand, but nothing quite like this mechanism has been seen before. All right, everyone's getting too crazy with these names and these bio Biology terms, but I'm gonna try my best. Prom, prom, promachotuthis, sulcus. This is a squid with human-like teeth. This weird alien-looking creature is scientifically known as 
Harama the Sivitasuchus. Haramako Toothisuchus. It is a rare, newly discovered deep sea squid, best known for its seemingly human like teeth. This species is only known by a single specimen that was caught in 2007 in the nets of the German research vessel Walther Herwig. The 2007 specimen was barely an inch long. The next animal that we have that is one of the scariest animals in the world is the Goliath tigerfish. These fish have an olive covered back and a silvery underbelly. But if you see one, what you'll remember is its mouth is full of 32 jagged razor like teeth. Each tooth can be up to one inch long. The teeth are set at the edge of the jaw and the monster barely has any lips. And when those teeth slam down on a prey, it's clean, almost like a surgical cut. Next, we have the poodle moth. This species was only recently identified in 2009, but there are actually quite a few rather closely related moth species that look just as interesting. They're pretty much just like regular moths. They're annoying, they fly towards light, but they look like poodles. Although no one has yet stroked the poodle moth, its hair may not be as soft as cuddly as it looks. While animals grow hair for warmth, hairy insects use theirs for smelling and defense purposes. So I'm guessing they're probably spiky and they hurt. And last but not least, we have the wolffish. The Atlantic wolffish are voracious predators and the large head, powerful jaws, and large canine teeth are all used to hunt and eat hard-bodied or spiny invertebrates such as sea urchins, crabs, large marine snails, and etc. They reach lengths up to five feet. Despite this look, Atlantic wolffish are not aggressive towards people and are not known to bite people unless they are provoked. All right guys, so that is it for the video. I hope you all enjoyed this little fun fact video. You know, it's not completely related to reptiles. It's more of a altogether animals of the scariest ones. So tell me which one you guys enjoyed the most and tell me which one that was the most interesting and the most scariest to you. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video of the Halloween series. Subscribe to it. Ew. <laughs> if anything, not unsubscribe. Uh -huh.